G'day guys, welcome to my Bonzo channel. Today I'm gonna to have another look at Clean My Mac X. I know I've done a video on it before, a review, but since that video there have been some updates. And the major update is that Clean My Mac X now supports Apple Silicon. Unfortunately, I can't test that feature because I'm still running my old uh, Apple Pro. But anyway, there are a few things which I'd like to discuss in this particular video, which I didn't cover in my last one. And one of the important things that I found and that slows my Mac down is the fact that it is the cache problems. So, you know, like you've got your internet browser, it could be Firefox, it could be uh, Safari, or it could be Chrome. And if it's all three like I do, then it does create, it does collect a lot of garbage. And by garbage, I mean like, Every time you visit a site, in order for that site to load quick, uh, quicker the next time you visit, it keeps a lot of information in the cache, like images and such. But the problem is, if you don't visit that site again, all that information is still stored in your cache. And over time, it causes your browsers to go sluggish. Apart from that, it also takes room on your Mac. And uh, there are ways of cleaning that cache, but sometimes it can be difficult to remember how to do it, and it's always a pain in the ass. Luckily, Clean My Mac does that for you. And also, new to me is that if you have a look up here, it's got that little icon, and it's got a little orange there which says, look, Pete, you need to have a look at your Mac, because things are starting to clog it up, and you need to get into your spring cleaning. So, um, you can run my smart scan, which will automatically clean my cache and everything. Uh, it also checks for malware, which um, apparently can be a problem with Macs now, which was never a problem before. But uh, there are always wankers out there who are trying to, uh, you know, work out ways to stuff your life up. So yeah, that is a good feature. Um, Okay, let's run it and see how long it takes, shall we? So let's run smart scan. And as you can see, what's gonna come up with what's new? Uh, what's new? So it's added supporting voiceover in activation dialogues for better accessibility, improves your controlling smart scan reminder. And that's a good thing. I love the fact that Clean My Mac X will remind me when things need to get done. Because if that wasn't the case, if you're like me, you just let things go by and go by and go by until it's almost too late. So that reminder is a good feature. Uh, it's also fixed some system items which were identified as leftovers within uninstaller and other bits and pieces. Okay, let's forget that. So, it's actually already been cleaning things up as I was chatting with you. So it'll delete 6.84 gigabytes of information once I tell it to. It's now checking uh, whether there are not, there are any threats on my Mac. And it'll list these things for you too, so you know what it's found and what it's doing for you. And then it will check to see if there's any things that it can help you to speed your Mac up. So we're almost halfway there. Um, another thing which I'll probably get into is the uninstaller. The, I've found the uninstaller to be a really good feature. What that does is, okay, you've got apps on your Mac and you think, oh, I'm not really using that app anymore, so you uninstall it, which in itself could be a bit of a pain sometimes. Um, but after uninstalling it, you think, wow, okay, that's done. I've got rid of all the files. But you haven't really, because a lot of apps leave bits and pieces on your computer so it doesn't get uninstalled properly. With Clean My Mac, if I un uninstall an app, it'll always come up and say, look, you know, you've uninstalled an app, there's more files left that need to be removed. You want me to remove it? And of course I say yes. Or I can actually do it from within Clean My Mac X. So everything's done, it'll come up with a message saying it's all done. 
and no threats are found, which is good. And there's three tasks which it will run to um, And what it's going to do is going to run maintenance scripts. It's going to flush with DNS cache, which is a good thing, and it will free up RAM. So we'll hit run, and it will do its thing. It's going to close Safari and say, yeah, quit all. And that's probably because Safari has, um, it's got to clean the cache within Safari, and it can't do that properly while Safari is open. So it closes Safari for me, cleans the case, and then I can open it and go and do my business as usual. Okay, so it's cleaning 4.39 gigabytes. Then it will go through the bins, it will clean my mail attachments, and your mail attachments also clog up systems. It um, also contains junk which you don't need, and so it will get rid of that for you. And this is all the stuff that I never, ever, ever did because I didn't know how. And the fact that I have cleaned my map and the fact that it does all this stuff for me, you know, without me having to worry about it, it takes like it takes all that pressure off me of having to think, what do I need to do to get my map run quickly, uh, quicker? Because I don't need to worry about that anymore because Clean My Mac's are always doing that for me. All right, so it's 1.83 gigabytes in my trash bin, so it's doing that. And the other thing too, if you compare this video to my previous video, you'll notice that uh, the guys at MacPort Software or Clean My Mac, whatever they call themselves, they've given it a fresh look which looks really great and I like the way they haven't changed things too much. I hate software when you get a, a major update, and then you've got to relearn how to use everything. That's such a pain in the ass. We clean my Mac, not a problem. Every time there's an update, they try to make things easier for me so that uh, I don't have to worry about relearning shit. And I reckon that's a really good point. So it says uh, they recommend a deep scan. Always does that. I don't do that every time. I do it every month rather than every time I do a scan. And um, I can view the log of the things that it's done. Now let's have a look at this uninstaller. So I'm going to click uninstaller. And there's all my applications. So if there's anything on there that I don't want to use, so like this one here, I don't want that anymore. Uh, what else is there? I reckon that will do for this demo anyway. So, okay, so we'll uninstall it. Okay, and it's done all that for me. So that is really easy. Oh, Shredder is good. If you delete uh, files on your computer, especially if they're files that contain passwords and confidential information, even though normally when you delete it, you think it's been deleted, there's still, like a hacker, if he got hold of the computer, he would know how to get into those files again. Even though you think they're deleted, they're still there somehow floating around. I don't know how it works, but that's what I've been told. So we Shredder, it will get rid of that file completely. It removes it 100%. There's no worry about, you don't have to worry about someone uh, getting hold of the computer and then finding those files because they're just not there anymore. And so that's a bonus. There's my large old files. You can do a quick scan. Okay, and it's found a seven gigabyte YouTube FCP bundle, which I think to do with my Final Cut Pro, which I don't want to get rid of. I'll keep that. iPhone, I probably need to keep that. Pixel, uh, okay, I can get rid of that. Get rid of Yellowstone, and you sort of click. These are all movies that I'm not watching anymore. So get rid of that. I'm not sure what that is. So I need to do a quick search. Screen recording, get rid of that. 
Yep, that can go. Old zip files can go. That'll do for now. Okay, so we just click remove. You know, these are 13 gigabytes just gone. And if I had to search for all those files, you know, manually to pick them all up, it would take me forever. So that's good. Uh, update we've done, uninstaller, we had a quick look at that. Just want to have a look at something, and we're just going to, we'll just close, clean my Mac for a second. This bit here, this uh, little widget here is new too, and I like that. So we're gonna close that, and I'm gonna look. So I'm open in Finder, and I'm going to, Let's get rid of one that I think X works free. Which one should I get rid of? I don't think I've used tag editor, so we'll just get rid of that. So we'll delete it. Move to bin. See, it's come up with that warning. Uninstall applications correctly. Remove trash applications along with all related leftovers. And it's the leftovers that kill you. So yeah, open clean my Mac. And then that will remove all the stuff that's left on that one. So just click uninstall. And it's done. And that is one of the best things I love about the new one. It may have been on the old one, I'm not sure, I've never looked at it, but it's easy to find on this one. And I like things when, uh, and I love it when things are easy to do. All right, I think that will do for the, this week's quick look at the latest Clean by Mac X. Guys, I hope that was of some use to you. If there's something about it that you would like to know, please leave a comment down below. I'm always happy to talk to my viewers. Um, I think that's pretty early. Well Don't forget, if you haven't already subscribed, you can do that down below. And remember though that you won't get notified unless you click on the bell and select all. And you need to do all those three things, not only to keep up with these updates of mine, but also so that you don't miss out on my Laughaholics video. And I do a funny video every week of jokes and uh, you, it's going to be really popular, guys, and I'm sure that you'll love it. So, yep, this is Peter from My Bonds Channel signing off. Love having you here, guys. Hope to see you for my next video. Until then, keep safe. Catch you later. See you.